Iconic. Oh, gosh, yes. <laughs> yeah, it, it, the best part is so it's used at weddings, mm -hmm. but also a lot of uh, sports yes. as mm -hmm. well to warm up, especially yes. when it comes to kids. True. Just body moving and mm -hmm. going. A uh, sad news to hear that. Yeah, yeah I know. I and, was he was, really, and he was really young. He was, yeah, he was considerably young. He was a DJ on the radio as well on weekends. Yeah. I used to listen to him growing up, and then he talks about in interviews that mm -hmm. that line dance was started as a, an aerobic exercise for, I think, one of his family cool. members. And it's become this, this culture iconic thing now. Yeah, it now, gets people to the dance floor, too. And yeah. like you said, gets people up and moving and feeling good. Yeah. As somebody that needs help when it comes to dancing, <laughs> and somebody says, hey, do this, and it's we easy. all do it, yes. it feels really good. It does. It tells it's you small. literally how to dance. Slide to the left. <laughs> slide to the right. right. That's all you need. Charlie Brown is the one that people don't know. But the reverse, reverse one, too. The <laughs> uh. Yeah. I love it so Classic. much. Classic. I knew that before I knew my ABCs. <laughs> <laughs> it's very strange. That's great. Yeah. That's great. Uh, so we're going to be uh, dancing to a different tune uh, coming up uh, this <laughs> evening, and especially on Wednesdays. There is potential for some more widely scattered showers entering the forecast on Wednesday. What we're seeing right now, isolated the thunderstorms, isolated showers, not really a lot to maintain not only the coverage, but also the strength of these storms. I'll zoom in a little bit closer. We had one rain out through Elkhart, uh, another one uh, right over uh, Walkerton that's going to be moving to the east at about 20, maybe 25 miles per hour. We zoom the map back out you can see some lightning strikes back up here in Michigan and also back off to our west. A lot of this, uh, there was a line about two or three hours ago that was moving to the southeast. Now, more segmented, a lot more space in between the showers and storms. So may get a rumble of thunder as we close out the night tonight, but not expecting any severe weather. 81 degrees right now in Goshen, 82 degrees in South Bend, and 81 degrees in Rochester. Uh, the storms again going to be sliding to the east as we go through the night tonight, and then more rain, showers, thunderstorms moving across Indiana coming up on Wednesday, and we'll talk more about that here in just a second. Heating next right now, the lower 80s, 82 in Goshen, 81 in Lagrange. As we go through the next couple of days, temperatures are going to be in the lower 80s. That humidity may push this back up in the mid 80s for Thursday and Friday before another cold front comes through. And that's what we're going to be eyeing on Friday is a cold front that's going to take the humidity back down. Otherwise, for future track, this is Tuesday at 8 o'clock at night. So a lot of the rain kind of you know, raining itself out. A severe weather threat staying low after sunset tonight. Everything kind of breaks up and we get back into some sunny skies to start the day on Wednesday. Again, this is Wednesday at 5 a.m. Temperatures in the lower 60s, 64 in Plymouth, 62 in LaPorte, 64 degrees in LaGrange with that wind coming in from the west, if not the southwest, by Wednesday morning. And we're going to start to see some showers, thunderstorms developing to our south and then trying to work across Michigan. Uh, the better coverage and the heavier rain set for central and southern Indiana on Wednesday. As we get closer to about sunset, again, some showers and thunderstorms will be possible. This may fill in developing, uh, depending on where it initially develops back in Illinois. We'll, of course, keep our eye on any severe weather potential, which remains low. Uh, in the wake of that system, though, check out the fog. All this gray, uh, some thick fog, for our Thursday morning, and there's Thursday at 5 a.m. with the westerly winds, temperatures in the mid 60s. As we go into the afternoon, that fog will burn off, give way to some mostly sunny skies, maybe a quick shower or two, but the next best chance of rain comes with that cold front on Friday. So planning out uh, the weekend right now, staying at 20% on Saturday, 82 degrees for a high temperature, 80 degrees on Sunday. The overall trend is to hold those temperatures around average, about 80 to 82 degrees. Next best chance of rain is going to be Wednesday night into Thursday, and then again Friday into Saturday behind oh. a cold front. And see that 58 low over there Thursday, Friday in the next 10 day? How low can you go? <laughs> can you go down low? <laughs> All the way through the floor. <laughs> it's in your head now, right? We, she was singing it too. No, I don't want you. No, I'm a professional. She was singing it too. Oh yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. What was it? Oh, Miss Moss, you were not a professional. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> no, we've got Terry. Terry's joining us with a check. What's coming up at five? Hello. Terry. <laughs>